Good morning, Cameron Peak Fire followers. This is John Norton Jensen, operations trainee for Northwest Team 6. A lot happened last night. Uh, let's get into what we got going on, and I'll show you right now. So, with your, op your morning operational update, we're going to start right where the activity was and where our biggest concerns are and where some of you are hearing about evacuations. Okay, this area in division uniform has been a concern for us and our partners for quite some time. It had lots of heat that was hard to access and challenging to deal with. So the strategy we have is a point protection strategy for the, for the proximate values at risk. So we have structures at the CSU Forestry School and the Pangry Subdivision. So what happened? Well, uh, last night, a uh, fire really picked up in activity around 1.30 burning north of Comanche and Hourglass, Hourglass Reservoir and south of, of Comanche and Hourglass Reservoir. Uh, with current and expected fire behavior, we expect the Colorado State Forestry Campus to be impacted by this uh, fire front in today's shift. We expect the fire to move and continue through today's shift past that and potentially impact the Pingree subdivision. Now, what are we gonna do about that? We have point protection measures set up in place that we've been working on for a couple weeks. So we have sprinklers, we have engines, we have hose, we have a, a, a vast array of equipment that we're gonna set up, to, that we have set up to protect these houses and structures at these two locations and other locations in the surrounding area. We have used heavy equipment to improve fire lines around these areas we've used logging equipment and other heavy equipment to work on contingency lines as well. So the plan we've had in place is being triggered. Uh, we have a solid plan for the approximate values at risk, but we gotta be proactive too. So working with our partners at the Larmer County Sheriff, we've, we've requested some evacuations and they have issued the following ones. Pingree Park, Monument Gulch, and Buckhorn to Stowe Prairie Road. To be proactive with the current and expected fire behavior, we wanna make sure that public safety is our number one priority and that people knew what's going on. We, uh, based on the activity last night, we immediately worked with the Larimer County Sheriff to make that happen and they've been key in making that happen. So we thank them very much. We're currently working with them on our plan for these evacuations and we'll assist as much as we can. So that is the big, the big plan for the Comanche area and the evacuations. We'll keep you updated. We'll have our Facebook live meeting tonight and the public information shop here will be focusing on this area today. But this is just one area on the fire, which is 131,000 acres right now. So the limited resources we have, we have to prioritize, right? So priority number one, division uniform and tango in this country. Where are our other priorities today? The North Line, we can't, figure, we can't forget about that. We have multiple uh, structures at risk on the North End, and we're, we're getting really close to tying off this piece of land, line up here. I'd say in the near future, we'll be looking really good with regards to mop up and containment. We still have some problem areas which have heat, but using crews, equipment, heavy machinery, we're still holding and improving this line and the 60 acre, 60 acre slop we had a couple days ago. Division Romeo, we still have structures inside the block and proximate to the block that have to be checked, patrolled and mopped up around. We'll continue to do that. We do not want to forget about those structures. They are important to us. We will continue to mop up and secure around them. Highway 14, that green finger which we've talked about for days now, is finally starting to close up to allow resources to be freed up to help elsewhere. And where are they going? They're going down here to the Pingree Park area so we can prioritize resources and get them another part of fire to assist because we only have so many resources. Division Alpha is gonna continue to hold and mop up the road on the long draw area of that burnout they did a couple years, a couple days ago, pardon me. A little bit of heat over on the uh, in interior of uh, near Joe Wright Reservoir, which they'll have eyes on as well. 
Structure North is gonna work with our VFD partners in uh, Crystal Lakes, Red Feather Lakes, and Glacier View, as well as working with some contingency line north and surrounding uh, Crystal Lakes. They will also free up engines and strike teams to assist other parts of the fire, namely on the south end, as a supportive function. With that today, aviation priorities are gonna be as follows. As weather allows and, and the winds allow it, which today we should have, it's a borderline red flag day. It's gonna be a challenging day for winds and RH. But hopefully we'll have the winds to allow us to work aviation at our priority area here around the CSU campus, as well as the North End, keeping an eye on that. But those two areas are the biggest priority right now. We will allocate those aviation resources accordingly and be aggressive with supporting our troops on the ground, our, our firefighters on the ground in this division uniform area. That concludes your operational update. I know a lot of you will have questions. Please email those or go to our Facebook page to pass it on to our public information shop. We'll work with you today as best as we can. And remember, we have a Facebook live meeting tonight at 1930. We appreciate your interests, we respect your interests, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Have a good day.